So Emily B's daughter Tyena just exposed Fabulous for being a terrible dad and it looks like she is tired of keeping the family tea cause she's spilling every single drop of the family drama and she didn't hold nothing back. She's not the only one doing some exposing though because Quavo also exposed Offset for doing some nasty stuff behind Cardi B's back and the internet went up in flames over this. Also Cardi B just started a new beef with who? Sierra of all people and everybody is wondering what on earth did Sierra do cause Cardi really brought out the big guns on this one. Okay, so y'all, I'm gonna tell you right now, this is about to be a chaotic video cause y'all know how messy your favorite celebs can be and today we have some pretty wild things to talk about. Let's start off with the mess between Tyena and her stepdad Fabulous cause she just slammed him for being a deadbeat dad and asked him not to play with her. Yeah, so I don't know if you guys know this, but Tyena's mom, Emily B, split from Fabulous around late last year or earlier this year. The timeline of the breakup is really not clear because they never officially announced that they broke up. Yeah, they just stopped messing with each other and left us to figure out that they had broken up. Now, before we get into Tyena shading her former stepfather, F-A-B-O-L-O-U-S, there are some things that you really need to know. So you need to understand where she is coming from and why she is mad at Fabulous. Cause listen, her anger didn't come out the blue. So Fabulous and Emily B were together for about 20 years and they have three kids together, but the relationship was pretty toxic cause he was caught cheating on her multiple times and he was violent with her on top of that. In 2018, he hit her so hard that he knocked out two teeth from her mouth just because she went to LA without taking permission from him, allegedly. Then there was another time that he sent out threatening messages to her and said that he was going to unalive her with a baseball bat. And on another occasion, he got into a fight with Emily and her dad and he threatened to cut her up with a pair of scissors. <laughs> He was indicted on one count of DV with significant bodily injury, one count of possession of a weapon, and two counts of threatening to unalive her, and it was revealed that he punched Emily seven times in the face. So y'all can see how bad this was. Now, unlike Emily's kids of Fabulous, Tyena was grown up and could clearly see how badly Fabulous was treating her mother, so this explains why she does not like him and why she is dragging him on social media for being a deadbeat dad. Like I said, Fabulous has three kids with Emily and their youngest daughter who was named Journey just turned two. So he took to Instagram to wish her a happy birthday like a good father. He said, I name you Journey because that's really what it's been. Might not know when you're going through it, but you'll get it at the end. I don't believe you can have faith unless you trust the journey. You have taught me that so I look at you with understanding and love. Your life as sure as it will add up in 10, 10, 2020. Happy B-Day, Journey Jackson. There were a lot of awes in the comments and people praising Fabulous for being a great dad and all that stuff, but Tyena was not having any of that. And she put him on blast in the comments saying, this post is hilarious. Might not know when you going through it, but you'll get it at the end is translation for, I have been taking care of my daughter in almost a year and I don't even ask about her well being because I don't care and I'm bitter. And I'm only only a father to two beautiful sons who I can manipulate. Stop playing with the internet. Now y'all, she really went there and she clearly didn't hold nothing back. She told us that Fabulous is a deadbeat dad who was only fronting for the internet. And listen, it's extra messy. Now I'm not saying that Fabulous is really a deadbeat dad cause I'm not part of the family. But what I'm going to say is that it is extremely common for some men to become deadbeat dads when their partners leave them. Especially men like Fabulous who love to be in control of their women and lose control when they do stuff without asking for permission from him first, allegedly. But I'm not gonna say that he is a deadbeat dad cause I'm gonna leave that to you guys to connect the dots. But anyways, this person agrees with me about Tyena not liking Fabulous and she said, let's not forget, Tyena did video Fabulous beating her mom and granddad. She never liked homeboy. I honestly blame Emily B for staying in that toxic relationship. Now y'all, of course Fabulous was dragged for filth with somebody saying, all that money take care of your freaking kids and really be there for them. Some of y'all parents ain't sticking it for real. And this other person commented, somebody needs to whoop him. It's crazy but unsurprising how many people just breeze past the fact that he literally knocked Emily B's teeth out her mouth and threatened her whole family. Well listen, shout out to Tyena for standing up for her mom and calling Fabulous out like that but people are saying that she should have kept that same energy with her baby daddy G Herbo when he went months without seeing his son with Ari Fletcher, yo son. And this is 
exactly what I mean when I said that this drama is messy. Okay, so if y'all thought that was all the drama, well, you must not know about me because I've got even more chaos to spill. And that's the mess between Quavo, Saweetie, and Offset. Okay, 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 okay. Quick background info from my baddies in the way, way back. Cardi B got into a messy fight with a blogger named Sleazy Mirage who claimed that Offset cheated on Cardi B with Saweetie. He said, Offset slept with Saweetie. Do you really want to discuss husbands? Cardi denied this and said, No, baby, you lying. You making crazy lies, starting stuff, and putting female rappers in it with no receipts. No blogger spoke on this. But people didn't really buy her denial because Offset has cheated on her multiple times, at least that we know of. But anyways, that drama died down until we found out that Quavo and Offset had had a falling out, and they were no longer on good terms. Offset also said that he was leaving Migos, and even though he said he was leaving because of issues with the label, some people believe that the real reason he was leaving is that he got into an altercation with Quavo because he messed around with Saweetie, who is Quavo's ex. We're not gonna get into the mess of Saweetie and Quavo's breakup because that's been over and done with. Check the other videos. But anyways, the speculations kept getting stronger and now it looks like Quavo himself has confirmed the affair between Saweetie and Offset. Quavo and Takeoff released a song title only built for Infinity Links, where he rapped about a woman doing the nasty with one of his best friends. Motion, you can't stand up in my session. Get out. I said, Carisha, please, cause she too messy. Please. Bitch, fuck my dog behind my back, but I ain't stressing. Not at all. You wanted the gang, you should've just said it. We would've blessed it. Should've just said now it. Now shit got messy. Oh. Smoking exotic shit. Now, before y'all come for me saying that he could've been talking about lots of women, he gave a strong hint that he was referring to Saweetie when he rapped. I said, Carisha, please, cause she too messy. BF my dog behind my back, but I'm not stressing. Not at all. This is a reference to Saweetie's appearance on Young Miami show Carisha Please, where she talked about the breakup with Quavo, and that's what he meant when he said she was too messy. Also, some people thought that Quavo could have been referring to Saweetie and Lil Baby and not Offset because she and Lil Baby had a little weird thing going on, and we don't even know what to call it, but we're just going to assume that it was some type of relationship. But, anyways, Lil Baby took her on a shopping spree and spent a hundred thousand racks, even though it was just their first date, and Quavo reacted publicly publicly saying, I ain't tripping, we can swap it out. Hashtag QC the label. But then Lil Baby and Quavo are not really friends, at least not to the level that Quavo was talking about in his song. So it looks like he was really talking about Offset and Saweetie, allegedly. Plus, he and Lil Baby are cool and he has had no reason to shade him, but he and Offset on the other hand? Listen, they've even unfollowed each other on Instagram. So yeah, Quavo has reason to shade Offset. And when I tell you that the internet was shook by this, there were all sorts of comments like, dang, Offset slept with Saweetie and Quavo kicked him out the Migos. Crazy. The crazy part about this whole Offset, Quavo, and Saweetie situation is the fact that Offset keeps cheating on Cardi while she flaunts her perfect marriage. And Saweetie wild for that, but Offset even wilder cause women come and go, but that's your man since before the fame. How you backdoor him? But if he can't be loyal to his wife, how Quavo thought he could be loyal to him? Yeah, y'all, it it is absolute pure chaos. And some people believe that the fact that Cardi has not spoken about the Quavo verse is proof that it is actually true. Cause we all know that Cardi is always hopping online to defend her marriage and her husband. And speaking of Cardi, can we please talk about the messy showdown that went on between her and Sierra on Twitter? Cause the Bardi gang came for Sierra and came for her hard. So this drama started when Cardi B announced that she lost a major deal with Call of Duty saying, my stupid decision from the past caused me to miss out on money now. I had a multi-million dollar Call of Duty deal on the table that I couldn't take because of court. Guys, think twice about those quick decisions. Lesson learned. I couldn't make it because of court a couple weeks ago. I wasn't able to do the shoot on time. But then Nicki Minaj was recently featured in a trailer ad for Call of Duty's upcoming game, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Ain't no time to wait. Pull up with the 
with the Bob superheroes, no capes. Pull up with the Bob superheroes, no capes. And the internet pretty much exploded. I mean, Cardi announcing that she lost to deal with Call of Duty and then her arch nemesis being in the trailer ad. Nah, it's absolute pure chaos on Beyonce's internet because people were coming for each other from all angles, dragging each other, and it was just mayhem. But Sierra got caught in the crossfire in the craziest way ever because it was not like she dissed Cardi or the Barty gang. So this is what happened. When the trailer ad dropped, Nikki tweeted, <laughs> and Sierra innocently quoted the tweet and said, why is Nikki so funny? This tweet just made me laugh, just because. Listen, when I tell y'all that she got cooked in the comments because the Barty game assumed that she was dissing Cardi, which is weird because everybody knows that Sierra doesn't move weird like that, and she is one of the most unproblematic celebs ever. But they left all kinds of comments, like this person that said, future is literally your baby daddy, you need to pipe down. And I'm not gonna lie, this one made me laugh out loud because it's like, why y'all say that? Y'all just be out of pocket. But Cardi also got mad at Ciara for engaging Nikki's tweet, and she swiftly unfollowed Ciara on Instagram. But people found it weird that Cardi got so offended by Ciara's innocent tweet, and they were saying things like, Cardi unfollow Ciara when this lady probably don't even have the slightest clue what the heck is going on. It's crazy. And not Cardi be unfollowing Ciara on Instagram after she quoted Nikki on here. She's so bitter. Like I said, I don't think Ciara was throwing shade because, well, she is Ciara and she loves to mind her business. But Cardi believes that Ciara is now Team Nikki and was shading her with that tweet. I told y'all we were going to be getting into some messy stuff, but we dive straight into chaos. But talk about a complete mess all around. But hey, y'all know I got some more messy drama where this video came from, so make sure y'all check out this other great video.